Hi guys, it's me again. Obviously, I wanted to make a video of some of my favorite things. Um, things that I use mostly. Sorry, it's in a box over here. That's why I'm pointing. Uh, to you know, for a stressful day or to relax me. Just some natural stuff that I like. So first off, I'm gonna start with. Let's start with this. Uh, this is a dry brush. I use this. A lot of people use this and they swear that it's good for things like cellulite, but I'm convinced that there's nothing for cellulite. You know what? Almost everybody has it. Um, I use this for basically for dry skin. You know, one of the most important systems in your body is your lymphatic system. You know, the system that's for your circulation, for, you know, detoxing a lot of stuff out of your body. And this I use every single day before I have a bath to kind of warm up my circulation in my body, get rid of all that dry skin, and then once you're in the bath or shower, um, you know, it'll just kind of fall off and get things pumping. So basically how you use this is you just, you want to, um, I don't know why my nose is so itchy, I'm sorry. You want to scrub it away from your heart. You don't want to put all that stress on your heart. When I just give me a kiss. You give me a kiss? Oh, my lips. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Uh, number two, which one should I use now? Um, so candle. Candle, okay. I got it. My daughter says the candle. This, I'm not an expert on the benefits of this. This is a salt Mom. candle holder. I got it from my daughter for Mother's Day. Can Thank you. Hi? In a minute. Thank you. It was a very nice gift. I love it. Uh, salt candle holders, lamps, or whatever can be beneficial for so many things. I have a little tidbit here that I can read to you really quickly. Um, some of the benefits can be attracts humidity, causing the surface of the salt crystal to become moist. Uh, creates a buildup of ions and removes moisture from your air. Binds excessive positive ions with their negative ions. Helps to neutralize the electro smog in your air and reduces allergens and irritants. And obviously, it's just really pretty. For some reason, my daughter likes to lick it. Yeah. Which actually is good. It's Himalayan, so it's uh, not bad for you. Um, this is really great to have in any area where you have a lot of electronics and uh, you know that are feeding off those um, I, I can't even think of the words right now anyways it's good to uh, clear the air and just kind of don't get get out <laughs> um, help relax you after just spending all that time here all those electronics like with me I'm a laptop person I'm addicted to my computer okay so that's number two you want to take that baby thank you in a minute, honey. Stop licking it, you weirdo. Okay, which one next, baby? Um, coconut oil. Coconut oil. I'm sure everyone's heard a lot about coconut oil. Um, number one, it's really, really good to use um, when cooking. It has a really high uh, heating temperature. Uh, a lot of oils, people don't know this, but actually go rancid at a certain temperature. Uh, coconut oil has a really, um, really high heating point. I always obviously use a cold press organic coconut oil, I don't know if you can see this. Um, organic virgin coconut oil, this one is by Wild Tusker. Uh, I keep it in the fridge so it doesn't liquefy. Um, coconut oil is better for everything. You know, intestinally it's great. Uh, it's also really good for hair. It's really good for a hair mask. And uh, it's also a natural sun repellent. So instead of using sunscreen, this is a natural sunscreen and also for moisturizing your skin. So those are a bunch of benefits for this stuff. Okay, stop. Just being silly. Um, which one next? Let's go with vinegar. The vinegar, okay. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar. You wanna get the one with the mother. Uh, there's about a million internal benefits of this stuff, but I kind of am focusing more on the outside right now. Uh, this is really good for your hair. It's really good to use if you feel like, you know, every once in a while we're using a certain shampoo for a long time and you start to get kind of like that waxy buildup in your hair. Uh, this is really good to kind of clear it all out and kind of restart um, with your hair. It's also really good for shine as, as well. as It's really good to balance out the pH in your scalp and really good for any dry scalp or dandruff. 
So, but if you want to know anything about the um, internal benefits, you can ask me any questions. Uh, I'll post a link below. I'm not tech savvy quite yet, so I'm just going to have to put it in the uh, description box. Um, and you can go to my page and ask me any questions. Okay, so there's that. You want to take that, baby? It's my turn yet. Okay, which one? Which one now? Pills. Pills. <laughs> Actually, supplement. Vitamin. Uh, this is biotin. You know, I am a cereal hair dyer for my whole entire life. I've never been able to... It smells like vinegar. I've never been able to figure out which hair color I really liked. Thank goodness I'm okay with this right now and I'm sticking with it. But my hair has gotten so absolutely dry and unhealthy throughout the years from just crazy hair dyeing. And my nails, as a stress thing... Okay, stop it. Please sit down. As a stress thing, I... You know, I'm a picker, and yes, I know it's gross, but it happens. Um, don't pretend you don't do it. Uh, so I, I started taking biotin, and it's amazing. Like, my hair wasn't growing at all, and my hair last year was seriously this short and just dry, and I had, like, tiny little layers, and it wouldn't curl at all. My hair is naturally curly. And my nails, like, I, I'm actually getting irritated about how much they're growing. It's bothering me. I have to keep cutting them down because I, every two days I'm, I'm scratching myself. Um, but biotin. I just used this stuff. I got it from this place, um, just an all-natural supplements and vitamin store. And it's it's it was about $8 for, like, three months. It's amazing. Which one next? It, it does smell like vinegar. Honey? Honey. Okay. So, um, oh, another thing that I forgot to mention about the apple cider vinegar, it's really good for your skin. It's a really good natural skin toner, but just be careful because it is quite acidic. So for sensitive skin, just dilute it. Uh, that reminded because with honey, this is also really great for your hair for moisturizing, but it's also really good for any sort of like scarring or acne that you might have in your face um, and moisturization. So like if you have a blemish and it's a little bit red, put a little bit of honey on it, and you're good. I obviously, for me, um, this is what I like to use. Uh, Alias Honey, it's unpasteurized. You always want to get unpasteurized uh, and it's creamed. I don't know why I prefer creamed. I, it, might, it might just be part of the unpasteurized thing, but you want to go always, always, always with unpasteurized and all natural for everything. Okay, you want to take that? We're going to go to a couple things here. I don't know if there's, um, if anyone else is around this place called Sage. It is like, it's like my heaven. I absolutely love it. Uh, it is full of all natural things, all natural soaps, essential oils, diffusers, just beautiful, magical stuff. And, um, relax, honey. So, I don't have all my stuff that I use because I'm completely disorganized and it's all over my house. But a couple of things here, um, peppermint halo. I, I have constant headaches and migraines because of back issues and uh, I get constant tension headaches and this stuff instead of you know popping an Advil or whatever constantly I, I, I carry this with me in my purse absolutely everywhere and I use it and uh, you just put a little bit on your temples a little bit on the crown a little bit on the back and I'm not even kidding it's a miracle worker number two immune this one is great for winter, that kind of stuff, um, use it if you feel like you're getting sick or you want to prevent it. Put a little bit on your lymph nodes in a circular motion, massage a little bit, and it's it's wonderful. Also, a little bit, I dab a little bit here sometimes if I feel like I'm getting a little bit stuffed. Eater's Digest. I have a lot of intestinal problems, and this stuff saves me so much, especially like if I may feel like I've just eaten a little bit too much or had some um, something that might you know, just like too much carbs or something that really makes you feel bloated. Um, I put this stuff on and it just, it's got licorice and it smells good. Everywhere I go, people always tell me that I smell like licorice um, or peppermint. Uh, and yeah, it just, it just kind of helps ease your digestion and helps um, kind of get everything going a little bit better. I smell like peppermint right now. I smell like peppermint right now. Good. And let's go with... Um, these are some of my oils. I get them from Sage. Hopefully there is a place where you can get some oils yourself. Uh, these kind of help me with everything. Like I have this one called Yoga. This one is a grounding 
a grounding uh, oil. So, you know, it's better to use, like, if you're going to do yoga, if you're going to do some sort of low-impact exercise, or if you just generally want to feel really, really relaxed or you're feeling stressed out, you put this in your diffuser and it's absolutely amazing. I love this. Or you can just, you know, give it a few sniffs. This one is Citrus Dream. This one is an uplifter. So, you know, use this when you feel like you need a little bit of perk. You know, cleaning around the house or you're doing a high impact workout. Citrus. I also have peppermint and eucalyptus. I cannot express how important this is. I don't use, um, I don't know, what are those things that people use when they're sick and they're clogged up? I like to put these in the diffuser, especially when my daughter's sick. Like, it's super beneficial, the eucalyptus. I put it in the diffuser and leave that in her room when she's stuffed up or put it in the bath, a few drops in the bath or a steam shower. It is so, so helpful. I cannot even express. So hopefully there's a place near you where you can kind of check out a few of these things. These are really helpful. Um, I find in my own personal life, um, you know, a bunch of my favorite things. <laughs> this one? My turn. Your turn? What are you going to say about this? Hi. Hi. She's got her, her silly faces. Um, okay. Okay, honey, don't go sit over there if you're going to chew. This obviously, one of my number ones. Um, I don't want to, you know, be too crazy and sound preachy or whatever, but, you know, my, you know, struggling with illness and stuff, my energy level is so low and, you know, it's so hard to kind of buy so many things at one time, you know, um, you know, my greens, my protein, you know, my uh, antioxidants, you know, spending all the money on so many things. And um, I just noticed the first day that I started taking this, like, it's so easy, like, I just get up, I do my workout, after my workout, I throw in, you know, uh, I like to be creative and add it with, you know, some, some fruit and almond milk, but uh, some people just, can you not, sweetheart? Some people just uh, do it with milk or water, but but yeah, I know, and it just gives me that that automatic boost and that um, those super nutrients that I need, and I just automatically feel great. Um, so that's that. I think I think that's it. I also something. love this shirt. Beach don't kill my vibe. I love this shirt. Mom, you're missing something. <laughs> what, honey? You! Oh, and my very, very favorite <laughs> thing is my beautiful, beautiful little daughter, daughter, daughter Jordan. She is my very, very favorite. She is the one who keeps me happy and accountable and waking up every single morning and just makes me smile. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for right now. If you have any questions, I'll put, I'll put a link <laughs> below. And uh, just let me know. And have a, a, super, have a super fit Thursday. Help.